What's up, everybody? It's the Alex Leak and Friends NFL Podcast back for another week. I'm your host, Alex Leak, and this is the 2019 Green Bay Packers preview episode. And we're going to talk about the Packers' moves in free agency and the draft and what to expect this upcoming season. Uh, now in the draft, in the first round, they take defensive end Rashawn Gary out of Michigan. Solid pick. If you watch the dude play in college, you know he's a monster. Um, so that's going to be a little bit worrisome for the division. A guy like Rashawn Gary, uh, he'll look to plug the possibly the Julius Peppers role that he played when he was there. Solid pick. Um, I had predicted them to take wide receiver. Uh, I, th- I thought they were going to go DK Metcalf there. I think that Aaron Rodgers could use some more weapons on offense, but they decided to go defense. Defense is really the name of the game this offseason for the Green Bay Packers. Uh, Also in the first round, they take safety Darnell Savage out of Maryland. He's supposed to be a beast. He's supposed to be great. Um, You know, can't hate him for taking that pick. Uh, High ceiling on that player. So they're going defense with their first two picks. They also went defense in free agency, adding uh, Chicago Bears safety Adrian Amos. So they'd steal him away from the division rival. They also get linebacker Preston Smith and linebacker Zadarius Smith. Um, they also go offensive line in the draft in the second round with Elgerton Jenkins out of Mississippi State. They also got a guard in free agency, Billy Turner. Uh, they draft tight end Jay Sternberger out of Texas A&M in the third round. And running back Dexter Williams out of Notre Dame in the sixth round. So, decent draft. I give them a B-plus on the draft. I think Sternberger's got good value at three. No problem going offensive line. you got to protect your franchise quarterback. And going defense with their first two picks in the first round, you, you know, that seems to be the path they're going. They did lose linebacker Clay Matthews and linebacker Nick Perry, as well as wide receiver Randall Cobb. But before we get too far, I want to bring up something that hasn't been talked about a lot this offseason. Uh, protecting Aaron Rodgers. Now, he's been hurt recently. You know, he got hurt week one last year. He got hurt uh, that uh, collarbone break against the Vikings two years ago. Now, explain me this, Green Bay Packer fans. Explain this to me. Okay. You guys fired Mike McCarthy last year. Uh, What was that? That was like week 13? Uh... So they fired Mike McCarthy last year, fired week 13, four and seven and one record. The Packers are out of this playoffs at this point, right? They're out of the playoffs. They, uh, a loss to the Bears. Okay, it was week 15 that they were officially eliminated from the postseason with a loss to the Bears in Chicago. So even if, let's forget about Mike McCarthy's firing. Week 15, that's when they're eliminated from the postseason. At that point, does it? Is there any reason to have Aaron Rodgers on the field? If you're not making the postseason, why is Aaron Rodgers out there? Well, they left him out there. He plays week 16. He plays week 17. Week 17, a battle of two teams that aren't going to make the playoffs and Packers and Lions. I'm on this podcast saying if you're Green Bay, if you're smart, you got to bench the, the guy. He's had a lot of injuries. He's had concussions. He's had issues in his career. Bench him. Save him for next year when you're actually in contention. Well, they start him. Week 17 against the Lions, and Aaron Rodgers gets knocked out of the game with a concussion. Uh, now, listen to these this quote from Aaron Rodgers. Um, it's, quote, it's disappointing how it ended. Getting that concussion was disappointing and also a little scary, honestly. I couldn't see. I lost vision. Definitely peripheral. So, not only are you putting Aaron Rodgers out there for no reason, in a meaningless game, risking his health, but it backfires, and he gets a concussion. Are you effing kidding me, Green Bay? How how many franchise quor- franchise quarterbacks don't grow on trees, and you're going to let Aaron Rodgers get a concussion week 17 in a meaningless football game? Man, I'm a Bears fan, and I'm hating, and you can tell me I'm hating, but tell me I'm wrong. L- really, you got to protect Aaron Rodgers. I, I can't believe that. I couldn't believe it at the time. Um, but anyways, so you got to be smarter. You got to be smarter. Brand new head coach and now Matt LaFleur. 
He's trying to change the path. The Packers have missed the playoffs two straight years. Retooling the defense, going younger on offense. Expectations are high going into 2019. Green Bay wants to contend in the division. Um, you know, they've got weapons. Look at Aaron Rodgers' weapons. I mean, he does. I would have liked to see him take a wide receiver in the draft. But looking at who they got as is right now. They lost Randall Cobb. Two years ago, they lost Jordy Nelson. They're going younger. The starting lineup is Devontae Adams, Geronimo Allison, and Equinemius St. Brown. Equinemia St. Brown, sorry. And then uh, Marquez Valdez Scantling. Those are your receivers, really. Name me another receiver that I should be worried about. Those are your four receivers. Then you got tight ends, which you got Jimmy Graham, you signed Mercedes Lewis, and you also got uh, Jay Sternberger in the draft. So it's some decent tight ends. Um. Running back, Aaron Jones, Jamal Williams, Trey Carson, Dexter Williams, who they got this year in the draft. Really, I see that as a two-headed monster, Jamal Williams, Aaron Jones, and it's, to me, not that big of a monster. I think you can do better at the running back position, especially when you're looking at guys like Tariq Cohen and Dalvin Cook in the division. Uh, what's his name? Carrion Johnson. I think Aaron Jones and Jamal Williams are a tier below those guys, honestly. Um... And you don't want Aaron Rodgers getting hurt. If Aaron Rodgers gets hurt in Green Bay, they do not have a good backup quarterback. They brought in Deshaun Kaiser last year, and you saw it week one against the Bears. Deshaun Kaiser is a walking turnover. All right. On top of that, I'm not a big fan of the offensive coordinator, Nathaniel Hackett. Um, but we'll see. He'll have a big year coming up. Matt LaFleur. Uh, there's already been some talk about Matt LaFleur saying he doesn't allow the quarterback as much room at the offensive line to make audibles and change plays. And Rodgers fired back saying that's what he's best at. That's what he's done a lot, so you don't want to take that away from him. We'll see how that goes. If they're already having issues before week one, before training camp even, it could be something to watch there in Green Bay. So there's some turmoil in Green Bay, honestly. I, I don't know if everyone's seen it, but Aaron Rodgers, the last time Aaron Rodgers was on the field, he suffered a concussion that, quote, lost his vision so that's scary I mean if Mitch Trubisky was saying that I'm a Bears fan if Mitch Trubisky was saying that and he got knocked out in a meaningless game I would be losing my mind so maybe I care more than some I don't know but big deal there let's look at the defense now they retooled the defense they're trying to go younger you still got Dean Lowry Kenny Clark Mike Daniels now you got Preston Smith, Zadarius Smith, Rashawn Gary. They're going to be better on better. Secondary is better. I do like the secondary. You got Jair Alexander, Kevin King, Josh Jackson, Adrian Amos, Darnell Savage, Tremon Williams. They've got, uh, they've got some depth. They've got some good secondary pieces. So you playing against Green Bay, you have to protect the ball. Um... You know, Jair Alexander is going to pick six of you if you're not careful. He's a hell of a corner. So you got to be careful playing against this defense. This defense is going to be better. But I'm going to make a point here. The Packers improved their defense, right? They're, they're trying to put everything into the defense, make it a lot better. They went defense in free agency, defense in the draft. Looking at it on paper right now, as it stands, this is the third best defense in the division. Bears are number one defense in football, at least they were last year. Yeah, they lost uh, Vic Fangio, but um, Chuck Pagano is no slouch. Chuck Pagano's a hell of a you know he's a hell of a defensive coach. Um, the Vikings, the Vikings are right there. They're the more talented defense. So, in my opinion, the Detroit they're on the come up defensively. So, if I'm looking at it right now, I got the Packers as the third best division in the third best defense in the division, maybe even fourth best. You ask some Lion fans, they're going to tell you they're the fourth best. I'm not sold on Detroit's defense yet, but, you know, we'll see. So tell me they have the... So I'm saying they have the third best defense, and their offense didn't really get any better than, la than last year. What worries me about this team? Brand new head coach. Matt LaFleur better bring a lot to the table. He better bring a new offense, an offensive scheme that gets guys open, and they better protect Aaron Rodgers and keep and keep him healthy. Otherwise, this team doesn't worry me one bit in 2019. So we're going to see how it goes. 
my prediction is the way too early season predictions. Training camp's not even here yet. I got the Packers missing the playoffs once again, a third straight year. I got them going eight and eight, maybe nine and seven, but right around five hundred. Seven and nine, eight and eight, nine and seven. That's their bubble right there. Actually, I'm gonna say seven and nine. So they're right in that seven and nine, eight and eight range. Um, that's not scary, especially in this division with Bears, Packer, or Bears, Lions. Uh, and Vikings. So I think the Packers have some things to work on. I really do. I'm not sold on the Matt LaFleur hire. I don't think that he's going to be a home run head coach. I think Mike Penton's a solid defensive coordinator. So the defense has potential. I'm not sold on Nathaniel Hackett as an offensive coordinator. And Aaron Rodgers may be doing more audibles than the coaching staff wants especially if he doesn't like the play calls going up against the defense he sees. And he's one of the smartest guys in all of football. So allow Aaron Rodgers that ability to change the play. He's one of the best quarterbacks the game has ever seen. You have to allow him that. All that being said, he's the best quarterback. He's one of the best quarterbacks we've ever seen. Hey, maybe protect the guy. He's getting older. You don't want him getting more and more concussions, more and more injuries. So... I think, honestly, the biggest key to the Packers having a successful 2019 is Aaron Rodgers' health. They can deal with a lot of other bullshit, but if Aaron Rodgers gets hurt or gets knocked out of a game, you know, it's all thrown up. So, big year for Green Bay. I got them going 7-9. and nine. I know you Packer fans are going to hate it. They're going to disagree with me. Tell me. Tell me in my comments. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, or leave a comment because I'm going to be putting these videos out all year long, weekly episodes. Can't wait for training camp in the NFL to start. But, uh, you know, tell me I'm wrong, Packer fans. Let me know. So, all right. Thanks for tuning in, and have a great week, guys. Peace out.